good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for tuning into this video. I'm The Gentleman and this is The Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today we are playing Speedball 2 on the Amiga. And by God, what fun I've had making this video for you. First of all, this is the second time that I'm recording the audio commentary over the top. Behind me, you can see an Amiga loading screen, the Amiga boot screen when you turn it on. I wanted to do something a little bit different from the usual lines that I've been using in the background and have something that reflected the system. I did this wonderful recording that probably went on for about 30 minutes or so, at least the length of this video, if you include some of the gaps that was in between the matches and there was a persistent clicking that happened. This clicking was every 20 seconds or so and it was really annoying the hell out of me. I thought that I'd broken something. That microphone that I've just lifted up, I had knocked that on the floor earlier and I figured that maybe it was causing the click sound, who knows, and it was sending me absolutely potty. And then I found out what the problem was. The problem was there was a little bit of noise for some reason on a silent video on the background video that I was using that I recorded off the Mr. FPGA system as the Amiga booted and it, it completely wrecked the entire experience. You try and separate the audio from the video to get rid of the, the odd click that was there. You know, you could minimize it quite a bit, but I could still hear it. And it's not the quality that you're looking putting out. You know, I'm not an expert at doing YouTube or anything else like this. I'm just having fun doing it. But I do look at the videos and, you know, I try and make a video that I would enjoy watching, a video that I would enjoy um clicking on and i would watch through to the end and with that it was nowhere on earth can this exist secondly um if there are any viewers here that are new viewers to the channel that maybe would have followed the link um to the video had i uploaded it in its previous state you know that they would soon be uh, turned off by you know it was just completely untenable to leave it there so this has been the trials and tribulations of so many hours that i have spent this evening of trying to get this video ready this is gonna be one of the longest videos that i have done as well i haven't even started speaking about the game yet i decided that i was going to play a single go on the game and i would not played this game for quite a long time but i wanted to give a single go on the knockout league that you have within the system which we're, which we're playing now there's no difficulty that you can set you know the, the game has it set difficulty for whatever you choose to do and i figured yeah no problem we'll do that i won't get very far but you know bloody hell i got a lot further than what i should have done i was recording this video before i was off to the dentist today and before i was due to start work i had some things i started very early today i had some things that i needed to do like go to the the tip in the uk we only have like one bin collection a week and we have like a green bin for normal stuff a blue bin for um, recyclables we have a food bin and there's also a brown bin for those of you that put garden waste in there and it's like every other week they come it's a complete mess so you have to frequently go to the tip so i had to go to the tip i had to get some work done before i went to the dentist i had to start work and you know it, it, everything was going wrong here and when it was getting to about quarter to eight and i was still playing this damn game because i get up fairly early in the morning i thought it's got to end at some point and this gives me a huge challenge with this video what do i do with it you know i couldn't talk on the first version of the commentary i did for the whole thing and you know i'm probably not going to be able to do it all the way through here so if the little picture of me on the bottom left hand side of your screen disappears there's no commentary for me the audio isn't broken and we will just have the gameplay audio that's going on in the background so what is this game back to the game onto the game finally this game is a futuristic sports game it's a sequel to the original game by the bitmap brothers which was speedball and this arena is probably four times the size of the original game and you certainly have a, a lot more members of your team to control so it's a much better package and this game has absolutely stood the test of time you know i was playing this and the memory muscle kicks in and you're playing it and you're thinking you know bloody hell i do remember how to play this hence why i got as far as i did and we've just won a match while i've been talking so 21 points to 16. 
and our next opponent is the Raw Messiahs. This game, when you play Knockout, you go into a gym like you're seeing at the moment, and while you're in the gym, you can increase various stats. Your stats are on the top left hand of the screen, and when I click on these buttons, my credit will go down, and we'll see that in a moment. And one of the stats will increase. We've done aggression, which allows us to boost other stats a little bit higher. And the higher your stats, the better your team is, naturally. But you need to focus when you do this. And the secret in this game is not put all your stats into one area. Just focus on a couple of areas. Maybe speed, maybe aggression, maybe intelligence or power. And you'll get through the first few matches okay. The fixture link that I've just kicked on shows the stats of your opponent. Obviously, every team that you play, uh, you get the new stats there, and escape will take you out of the gym. When you play this game, you will always be the blue team, they will always be the red team. And scoring is basically 10 points for a goal. 10 points if you decapitate your opponent, which we haven't seen yet, not on the first match. And not so far here and you get a couple of points if you hit a star the stars are on the top left hand side of your screen if you're attacking northwards and effectively the bottom right hand side of the screen if you're attacking southwards so on the second half on part two of the match on you know the second half of the match the stars are in the pole opposite position to where they are when you start the stars will give you a couple of points and if you light all five of the stars you get a nice little ditty that it plays and then they reset back to zero. When you throw a ball against the star, like I've just done there, it lights up. Your opponent can take the ball and they can throw it against the star as well and they will deactivate your star and you can do the same for them. Points can be multiplied very very easily and the way you do this is on the middle left hand side by the by the the center point of the pitch you have a, fr a strange device on the wall and we're, we're gonna see that in a moment when i run by and you throw the ball in there it does a, a little circle as it goes around the device and it will light a, a, a light so i've got two blue lights lit there i can't get any more points but if the enemy threw it on the device there they would knock one of my blue points away and if they threw it again they would knock the other one away and then another throw would then add a red light there and then another red light so you know you have to take away any bonuses that your opponent has on the bonus multiplier before you can have them yourself so we're half time i'm absolutely hammering this you know i've got 62 points they've got 10 points We've seen the gym um, when I actually got around to talking about the game. And the gym, in order to boost your stats, increase your stats, you need to have money. And that coin you've just seen my blue guy run over will give me 100 credits. And the key here is to have as much speed as you can have in the game. A lot more dexterity than what I've got in terms of playing. And, you know, basically get a high score, you know, get a big beat, beating your opponent by a, a few points there and then run and get as many coins as you can and as long as you win the match you will have a really good set of boosts that you can buy in terms of enhancements for your team for the, the next team that you play. The teams do get progressively harder on here but you know that they're, they're not impossible. There is another version of the game that you can play as well which is a league. I believe on the league you can actually buy subs. I haven't noticed subs on the knockouts or I haven't tried the subs on the knockout but if you're playing the league version you can buy subs which are people of your team that look like your characters but they've been cybernetically enhanced. They've got a lot better skills in some areas but generally weaker in others. So if you buy a sub you will spend a lot of money on that sub but You'll have a short-term payoff where you've got decent stats, but ultimately it's always better to build up your own default starting team because, you know, I, I always believed in the years that I used to play this, you you have a lot better result. Um, the, the natural progression, the natural increase of the stats just works better here. So I've just scored and we've taken the score to at least 85 20 you'll see you see it now on the screen it doesn't happen straight away so one second left on the clock and it's match over absolutely hammered this and we will go back to the gym
So here we are back in the gym. I haven't done too well on the previous match. Ignore the score. Yes, I won. You can win by one point. But I've only got 520 credits. So that leads me to believe you get 100 credits for every coin that you pick up. I've only collected five coins, so I'm not going to be able to do much in terms of what I increase here. I can increase individual players, but I like to do the team as a whole so you have a, a more rounded experience when you play. One thing we haven't spoken about is the ball can sometimes go red once in a while because I generally don't use this feature, but you will see the opponent with a red ball. What happens is there's a little black receptacle um, on the on both sides of the the left hand side and the right hand side of the wall and when you throw that though no, that wasn't it that was a hold just there but when you throw i got an own goal as well brilliant uh, when you throw the ball on that the ball turns red and if you're the one that did it you can throw the ball and it automatically knocks the enemy over you know they cannot defend the carry so it's ideal to get that throw it against the and for, for another reason I've got an own goal, I promise you, I'm not looking to lose here. I was trying to pick it up and turn uh, at the same time. So I'm now going to have to focus and do a, a fight back. But as I said, there's a receptacle on the left-hand side of the screen, a little bit further down. You haven't seen it yet. And you throw the ball against that, and it goes red, or ready orange. And when you've got the ball in that state, you can throw it, and it will just knock any enemy over. You know, great, great weapon. So... We're getting our butt kicked here. If you've watched a lot of videos I've done on this channel, you will see how often I get my butt kicked by the AI. Um, you know, this is now no different. It's not a case of me talking and playing at the same time. This is a commentary over the top, but I, I'm not doing particularly well. So we're just gonna hopefully, you know, turn this around. One thing we've not spoken about too much, or even at all, is we've got coins on the floor that you collect. But once in a while, you get items like shoulder pads, boots, and you get the little round bonus things that you see with different symbols on the screen that they've got the green lettering in there. Those are various power-ups that you can get that affect the game. So we're actually now in the lead, 40-30. And that was a quick turnaround. And the combination of having the double bonus um, through the two blue lights on the device at the center of the the pitch that we can see there combined with you know some reasonable gameplay I, I think I probably threw it and hit the stars to get that has allowed me to turn this around just a little bit so I need to focus but you know this should be a winning game where I can go on and you know boost my team a little bit and do a little bit better but this is a great great brilliant game I talk a lot about the Mr. FPJ system that I use, which allows me to recreate the Amiga, which you're seeing now, and countless other systems. But emulation is also extremely good, and if I didn't own the Mr. FPJ and had not invested in that, I would equally be doing emulation, same kind of videos, but using this. The difference is it's not as accurate on the timings. You don't get the, the perfect recreation that you generally get on the Mr. FPJ, but it's still very good. And if you're looking at these videos that I do, you're watching what I do here, thinking, you know what, I fancy a crack at that game. You know, give it a go. In this case, download an emulator like WinUAE, get the ADF file, which is the Amiga disk format file for Speedball 2, fire it up, give it a go. These are classic, brilliant, brilliant games that, you know, doesn't matter whether they're old. They have a lot of gameplay on them. And, you know, you, you may just fall in love with, with something from an era that you've never played if you're one of the young people in the world. But if you're an old person like myself, you know, you can still recreate your experiences in the past. We have a lot to thank emulation for. You know, we have a lot to thank all these people that do all the brilliant coding on the emulators as well as everybody that does all the work on the mr fpj system and this is new you've not seen this so far we have actually knocked the opponent out and he's been taken off the screen if you look at the bottom left hand side and the bottom right hand of the screen you will see a blue bar and a red bar the, that indicates our health, and the blue bar is always the current player that you control. I know it's disappeared off the screen, but we can talk about this as we head back into the gym. And the red bar 
is your enemy opponent, but your nearest enemy opponent. So your forwards will generally be the ones that get knocked out. You know, the ball fires up in the air, you run forward, you do a lot of punching on the fire button to knock them down, throw the ball, knock them down and such. And, you know, the, the health gets depleted quite quickly over the period of a match, especially when you get a, a good boost like power that you've got and you combine that with attack, aggression and speed. You know, you're in a position where not quickly in the match of you know two or three hits but over a period of game you can take the opponents out and that gives you 10 points 20 points if you've got the double bonus 15 points if you've just got one of the single bonus is so that's an, another way to increase your score do not use it as a strategy to think yeah i can beat on every single opponent and i can take that it's absolutely not worth doing that and you're going to get nowhere you know play play the game to get the bonuses on the bonus multiplier, get ahead on the goals, and you know, just collect the coins, hit the stars, try and get five stars, and just work little bit by little bit on what you're doing here. You know, I've got three blue stars already. If I get another two, I will get a good bonus multiplier. Um, you know, now 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 I've I've thrown it in the thing as well. I should get a good bonus. So there's one, there's another, and we've jumped from 14 points to 34 points without i believe a goal being scored although the enemy has just scored a goal there there was no deliberate timing on that but you know yeah you have a way to win even if you're having trouble and they've got a marvelous goalie that seems to be knocking the balls away you you could effectively win without throwing a single ball into the net so they're making quite a good comeback now i'm on 34 they're on 20 and they have scored two goals in quick succession you know, it does get harder as you in go, go further through the knockout stage. You know, they are better. They are more stable on their feet. They've got the red ball that we spoke about. If I touched that while I was uh, going near it, it would have knocked me down. Um, you've just seen me collect a coin there as well. And it's really important at this stage of the game to collect as many of those as you can because, you know, the, the, the teams do increase quite quickly in their power and their strength and you know it's, uh, they're tough ones so they've now taken us to 30 points we are only four points ahead you know we have to focus we've got to concentrate on this again as i mentioned before you've got the health bar of your current player who you're controlling and the nearest one against you um and, and they're, they're now taking the lead you know i'm on 37 they're on 40 so you know you take your foot off the gas at all you can lose this i don't think i lose this match i know i don't lose this particular match actually but you know it, it does get close so you saw some glasses if you were quick enough on the top right hand side of the screen uh those are one of the bonuses that you can pick up i believe that's aggression that you have and you know you get that and you know you're a little bit stronger um but they can tackle you and the, those bonuses do drop so you know they're not persistent they're not like permanent upgrades you know it's just temporary for a very very short period of time this game was remade on the pc i've never owned it but i did see it on steam once and having a look at it it, it was a i suppose a a homage to this particular version of the game but not a, a, a proper recreation. It doesn't have very good reviews. And one of the comments that, you know, is quite negative on that is if you do buy the game, you're not going to enjoy this game anymore because it spoils the experience. How? I don't know it would spoil the experience. You know, I just see it as a, you know, a recreation, a, another vision of this great classic game. Never played it, never owned it myself. But, you know, it's something that, you know, I might check out if I see it in a sale or I got a couple of quid kicking around on Steam. Yeah, let's, ha let's have a go on this. But, you know, th this, this will always be a classic. This will always be a great game. And what amazes me, and sorry I'm rattling on a lot, but what amazes me with games like this is, you know, the amount of memory that they use is absolutely nothing. They are not the epic games that we have here today, which are the cinematic experience where... You know, you, you play through the game and then you die and you then generally start off after. And, and look at this, we won by one point, 53 to 
52. As I say, every point counts. And if I hadn't have got those bonuses, you know, I wouldn't have made it past this. So going back, yes, before I was interrupted by winning by one point. Uh, yeah, the games today, the cutscenes that you get, the epic game experience is, you know, absolutely great visually to have a look at. But all you're doing is you're just playing through an experience where games like this, a lot of games that are from this particular era, at least the 16-bit area, took, you know, skill. The, 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 they took, you know, dedication. The, they, they took... Um, strategy to play in some things you know you just couldn't brute force your 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 way through them like you can um actually i've just had a little blank on my mind i said 16 bit was the amiga 32 bit doesn't matter can't remember very tired and as i say this is the second commentary that i'm doing so yeah yeah a lot of these games are you know absolutely brilliant and you know i love this as a a younger person when i played it a lot and the experience that i had this morning when i played it you know, it was bloody hell. You know, I can still play this. I am okay at this. I'm actually reasonably good at this. And I will be picking this up again. And I will be playing the league where you can mess about with subs. I don't think subs is always the right way to go. As I've said before on this, or I said a little bit earlier on this video. But, you know, it's another feature that they throw in. So, yeah, great fun, good fun. If you want an old-fashioned classic sports game that will be just to have another go and must beat it try 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 again especially when you know my gaming abilities and if i'm doing as well as i'm doing at this moment you must be able to do better than me pick this up get an emulator have a go and revisit a joy by the bitmap brothers from the past the original game you could also give a go uh, the pitch is a lot smaller on it you know this must be about four times the size of the pitch and that was a very good game but you know this is so much better you know they they really upped the the ante when they did this when they created this and you know th th this was a top of the bunch so if you're still with me this far in the channel and if you're a new viewer to the channel first of all welcome and thank you if you're an old viewer to the channel that's been watching for a little while, we've been going for a month or so, you've probably heard what I'm about to say again. So, you know, I absolutely apologize for this, but we've probably spoken about everything that we can on this game to talk about the features that you've seen and what you've seen. So I just want to share a little bit about the objective of this channel. At the moment, I'm going through some health crisis. Things are getting a bit better, actually quite a lot better. However, this is a hobby of mine to keep me sane as you know i work on my health and you know it's a, a byproduct of i need something to focus on to take my mind off quite a few things that are going on at the moment and i decided that i would build a retro channel a little channel like this the current goal of the channel is to get 100 subscribers with 100 subscribers, I can then change the URL to a friendly URL, unlike the garbage that you have, which is a random URL from YouTube. And I'm well on my way to doing this at the time of recording this video. I may be lucky enough to have 100 subscribers by the time you know you view this video, maybe in the future. And you know, if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed, you know, I would be honoured if you feel that I've earned your subscription. If you could just click on that like for the video because that lets me know i'm doing something right and click on subscribe for the channel and you know if you do honestly from the bottom of my heart thank you so much if you're already a subscriber you know thank you to each and every one of you for making this little channel the little success it is for me at the moment you know currently at the time of recording we're about 80 subscribers but you know what those 80 subscribers, each of you tell me that I'm doing something right. Each of you tell me that I'm heading in the right direction. And it makes me proud to do this. So, you know, honestly, again, thank you to each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, if you feel unworthy for it, please consider doing it. If you are already subscribed, sorry about going on about this again. Um, you know, you have to do a, a bit of self-promotion. It's very hard to promote channels like this in the congested area where they are but you know thank you for listening through on this so we had i think it was 300 credits there so we probably only picked up 
free coins you know things are getting tough now yeah the game is getting you know a lot harder i know that i beat this team you know i'm aware that i beat this team i'm kind of aware how far that i get just purely by recognizing the team's name but you know i say a lot lot tougher look how quickly they scored look how quickly you know that they, they got the ball into into my gaping hole for want of a better word here you know and they're getting certainly a lot tougher and their ai is going up as well notice how they took out my points that i had on the board you know they just threw them and they disappeared yes i was lucky to whip in a goal then but that was probably more luck than anything to get one so quickly you know i didn't expect it to come off at that point while playing the game at this stage you know i'm beginning to worry because you know it's getting towards a time where I've, I've got to go to the tip it's getting towards a time where i've then got to um do a bit of work um because my work day starts early it's then getting to the time where i've then got to go to the dentist and you're thinking oh, for god's sake I, I really should be losing this game now i want to lose this game maybe i'm going to lose it by the, the the strength of these teams that i'm playing against but you don't want to throw the game you know if you throw the game it will always be a what if and you know it would have been a brilliant achievement you know to just go on and on and on with this and i'll be honest you know i i do get beaten the, the spoilers ahead you know i don't actually win a trophy but you know i i had good fun playing and the reason i share this now is you know i've done a lot of talking over this video you know we, we've gone a fair whack into commentary version two of this and i've described pretty much all you can see about the game you know i urge you to pick it up on an emulator give it a go if you like what you're seeing you know absolutely brilliant brilliant game here and i think what we're going to do is we're just going to let this video play out so thank you for viewing so far thank you for viewing to this point there's at least i think one maybe two matches after this before i do get beaten but it's been great having you along for the ride you take care out there you stay safe and i will see you on the next video which i don't think will be as long as this because you know i'll need some more serious game playing skills and with me they don't come along too often but this has been a blast thank you very much and i will see you next time goodbye good night and take care
Ready.
play. Get ready. Get, Get ready. ready. 